features and how we have done this. Okay, first of all, this system actually we have been developing this almost for a number of years and still I would say we are developing, right? Because why I'm saying that still we are developing because always there are changes and always the new trends keep on coming, right? And we are just trying to means uh, work out with all the trends whatever we can follow and make it better, right? Okay, Krishna, can we just uh, please go to view results first? Good results. Okay, let's say first of all the one here. I think Mr. Manatwan, you must know this girl, right? Yeah, student. Okay, how does actually we calculate here? Here the students can take a number of exams and once they take the exams here, we will break down the exams, you know, like basic exams, intermediate exams, advanced exams and scenario exams, right? Okay, so various kind of exams which can be taken. For example, if somebody wants to sit for Microsoft certification, one time you sit for certification minimum 500 ringgit. You fail, you burn your money. You cannot take back that certification again. Sometimes you can buy a package. The package will come with a second shot. Second shot means, okay, you fail one time, okay, second shot you can retake the certificate, right? It's a free of cost. But again, with one time or two time, many students have not cleared. This system actually, why we did, First of all, let me tell you the history that how we come up with this. We were being awarded one project by MDAC, Multimedia Development Corporation, that was MicroCert. Under MicroCert, they said, okay, you can pick the candidates, you can give them the uh, training, and you can give them certification, and then we will pay for that certification. Oh, we are very happy. So this is funded program, so we can do this training, and we will take this opportunity, and we'll expect. After that, when we signed the contract with them, the clause was written, if anybody fails certification, training provider will need to pay from their own pocket. We say, go ahead, try yourself. Right? You go and buy the voucher for CCMA, which is going to cost you at least 1,000 plus. If the student fail, you pay. If student pass, come and play. Then we said, okay, no, this is not the case, how we can means buy and we have to buy a work vouchers and all that. They said, we need quality. If you are so confident about your certification program, about your training, then you should be taking this project. Otherwise, you decline. It's up to you. We give you three days to think. Either you take it or leave it. Right. So we have only three days to either take that project or we have to leave that project. Right. That was one of the reasons then we came up with a simulation. We said, why not we do one system where we can have like online examination system where we can test the candidates before they sit for real exam, right? So that time because system was not ready, so we just use manual. So manual way that okay, we just come up with the paper, then we say okay, you please need to do this paper number of questions at least ten times, twenty times once. We feel guaranteed that okay, you're going to pass. Then only will allow you to sit on that real examination, right? Okay, Mr. Please show down the minimize this. Just minimize from the top. No, no, here. Not thank you, minimize the entire thing. Yes. Just minimize this one. Yeah. Okay. Now please show the entire exams. Okay. Uh, maybe more than that. I think. Good 30. Okay. So these are number of exams which has been taken. Okay. Just click on the marks. Yeah, marks here. Sorry. Again, sort. Four out of eighteen. So if let's say okay, go down 15, 10, 9 out of 80, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 80, 10, then as you keep on going down, C sharp exam level 2, 32 out of 32. Right. So you can see the level when these students are coming directly. Right. Sometimes it's not that they do not have the knowledge. Of course, you guys as a university, you are giving them a lot of knowledge. But again, the professional way of asking them the question is different. When we interview the questions back, we ask the students, okay, why actually you fail drastically? Why your marks are very bad? They said, sir, we do not understand what actually was being asked to me in the question. I couldn't understand the concept of it. Like, okay, giving the scenario of Microsoft means examination certificates. What happens there? In Microsoft exams, right, they will ask you like a story. Story in a sense, okay, you are Mr. Mark is working in a company A, the company A is going to set up the router with the company B, the company is going to have this thing, and kind of the entire story, but in between they are just asking how to have one protocol to be implemented. Right. 
So that's where they do not understand how the questions are being to be asked and how we need to answer those questions. So that's why one of the reasons that okay, after they doing the number of times this kind of certification, after that they achieve the certificate, professional certificate, right? Okay. Uh, Karishka, please go to the what you can say intelligent reports. Go to inline charts. Okay. Select here IIC. Okay, for example, let's say just for the test run yesterday I was just trying to do. For example, here we can say, okay, these are three to four times of exams which I have done. Through the system we can find out, okay, what our marks, how we started for minimum, let's say got four out of, three out of ten, and four out of ten, and four, okay, then you can achieve to the means maximum number of marks. So means to say, from this system, which we are going to implement for this government certification program, they can do the preparation as many number of times they can do. And once they find out that, okay, they are okay, they are fine, that's the time we will give them the link for the real certification. There will be a certification which will they pass, then they achieve, they earn their certificate from us. Right? So first is a preparation and after that is a real certification there. Then after that, let me show you how the exams will happen. For example, we will have two types of exams here. One is learning based exams, another one is work based exams. So learning based exams means which they are going to learn out of the topics. But again for the work based exams, because this is for working adults, all of these people those are going to take exams, they have the working experience, right? So checking their background for the work experience or checking that what kind of application they have done with their knowledge in their field, right? So two kind of categories of exams can be there. Number one, for example, learning based exams, click on this. Here we have two kinds here, one is take new, another one retake. Take new means, okay, when first time you are taking this exam, so you are taking a new exam. The retake is, for example, let's say you can retake this exam if you have failed your previous exam, or you think that you have to improve your previous exam, or if you think that, okay, still there is improvement level, you can achieve that, you can try it again, right? 
Okay, first of all, let's say go to the peak mu. Okay, suppose uh, XL for HR, then no, show down, okay, drop down. Then include to IT, government procurement, let's say click on government procurement. Okay, put class name MIBMN. Okay, let me just click start. Okay, for example, let's say this is your examination questions. This one kind of exams where you will be having the exam would be just the objective type exams, right? Okay. This objective type exams which we are taking here, I'll show you later that when we are creating the exams, these are created on the base of level of difficulty, on the level of there, these are mapped to the objectives. These are led means uh, as per the, what I can say, what level of difficulty is going to be asked and what means uh, type of question, whether it's a basic, is advanced or it's a kind of means a scenario type question, right? Okay. For example, let's say if which that you just click, okay. We can just, uh, these are 10 questions only, we can just try to attempt. Let's say I'll just show this uh, dummy exam here, then we'll show that how actually this means uh, works and how it, you will get the notifications of the results. Uh, anybody want to try this question? Those are from procurement departments. Any volunteer? Yes? I think Jaipa. He's the main expert. <laughs> Come again? You cannot see. Never mind, I'll call you friends. <laughs> no, we are <have> expert. <laughs> okay. Okay, next. Uh, I, I think we are on the 10th question. Okay. Click next. Let's see, Kanishka. Not satisfactory. Okay, go, go down. Kanishka, this go down. Okay, here you can see the result for each is given. For example, let's say quick code and online with operation facility, wrong answer, you answered all of above. So means to say we do not give the right answer here because we do not want to give the entire answer script to you and next time you cram it. Right? And again raise it for this exam. We just tell you that you're wrong here, but you have to go back to your notes, you have to go back to your lecturer, you have to study yourself to find out what is the right answer. Then only your knowledge increases. Right? Okay? So that is one of the... Automatically this system will be after one, will knock you out. But nothing to worry about. This will send you as an email notification. Right? Prisha, please open my Gmail. And this notification will be going to the students. <laughs> This notification will go to the lecturer and if let's say any, if let's say in the working environment we want to include the head of the department or another person, it will go to that person also. Just go to send. Okay. Civil apprenticeship program at 3 at 1 p.m. So we have taken the exam right now. Zero minutes ago, we just took this exam and the notification will come to your email, right? So this notification, you can save it and this notification will help you to means uh, compare your study in future that what I have done. Because if you look at the system, in the system, it only tell you how many marks you have got, right? It does not tell you which question you have done right, which question you have done wrong. We can save that, but then our database becomes bloated with a lot of data, right? So we don't want to keep that much data, so that is just like an email notification given to you, which you can utilize. Right? Okay, we shall go back to our system again. Okay. Now, for example, you can click on descriptive exams. Uh, let's say learning base. Uh, suppose take new. Uh, use our exam. Let's say, yeah, use this one. Okay, this is just, I put something dummy there yesterday. Okay. So, this is, for example, the question here. What do you understand from government procurement, right? So you need to give your answer. So means we have descriptive type questions here as well, where you can write your answer, you can write your means explanation, whatever you want, right? You can save it in your database. After that, if you feel like changing, you can change it. But once you finalize, you upload these questions, then what happened? Your, uh, just maybe we shall write something and then just try to upload, go down. Let's say save first. Then try to upload. Okay, refresh the system once. Maybe just 
Refresh from here, I'll just click here. Sometimes because Google has a lot of cache, means the Google Chrome, because of the cache it will not show the latest refresh data. Okay. So now once it refresh, ready is telling status, awaiting review scores, wish you all the best. Right. So this is one of the another means uh, we are not only checking from the objective type of questions only, we have the descriptive type questions as well. And for your kind information, what we have done here is, we have used the system that if somebody tried to copy paste, right, we will get the notification that, okay, this person has done the copy paste because we use the metadata, right. So from this metadata, we'll find out from which website you have taken, from which source you have taken, from Word, Excel, Bobon, you have copy pasted. So we will give a notification back. Thanks a lot for your answer, please review. Right. Okay, so we want you to give your own idea, we don't want to copy paste, because Google is there for us to do that. <laughs> right, so this is how, this is one of the qualities we are trying to implement into this system. Right, there are a lot of other features as well, which I do not want to means, uh, keep my brother waiting here for me to finish it. So I just wanted to give you an overview that, okay, this is what we have here, maybe one or two I will show you before I finish. Right. And as I said, we have been developing this for a number of years and we keep on seeking for more advice, we keep on seeking for more help. If anybody has any idea, would like to share with us, we would love to have that and we would appreciate that kind of feedback so that we can improve more. Right. Because this is going to help a lot of people in the e-learning, the lot of people will have the better results and will have the better quality means in their work environment. Right. Okay, Krishna, please go to uh, what I can say. I think no. Uh, I log out from this. I log in as a lecturer here.
and we are trying to achieve some kind of transparency here that we can tell the candidate that okay, what kind of actually monitoring we are doing on your means entire thing. For example, we'll have score analysis. We will see that okay, how many exams which kind we have taken. Then exam analysis, the basic exams, and then intermediate. Then what is the level of your communication, mathematical skills, analytical, logical thinking. Same goes for the assignment, right? Then attendance. How many number of times you have logged in into the system? How many time hours you have studied? Total number of times auto logged out by the system means that you log into the system. After that, you are just waiting for the time to utilize. So means we do not want that. Okay, somebody say I have used this, this many number of learning hours and total number of downloads. If you have downloaded the total number of uh, answers, questions, or means uh, kind of uh, other means, what uh, is the notes we have provided? Okay. So this is what our, we are doing and this is what we will be implementing for the procurement uh, certification program. We will be using this system to help them to study more and then evaluate them and the uh, examination will be done through this. Right? Okay? And I think I would like to means, uh, finish my topic here and I would like to... Uh, yes. Application. Application. Okay, Kanishka, can you just show that how we can download the application? Even these examinations can be done through an application as well. But this application which we are telling you, okay, this is talking about our event, talking about today this thing, whatever we have, right? But means uh, we are launching another application that you can download on any means phone and then you can do the examination from the phone itself. Right. Krishna, better tell something together with it. <laughs> okay. Okay, first of all, what you need to do is just go to Google Play, right? In Google Play, you can search for MIPMM, right? Once you search for MIPMM, then our logo will come there, Center of Excellence for Certification for 40 years, right? Then you will see this uh, means, uh, app to be there. Then after that, you will have the application. Okay, you can uh, click on the install, and once you click on the install button, you should be able to successfully install, right? These are the means the screenshots of our app. What we have here, for example, let's say our milestones. You can close down this uh, page. Now. So if you wish to download this app, you can download means now or later, whenever you feel like, right? So through this app, actually you will have the entire knowledge of MIPMN, that like whatever MIPMN is going to do, and we will be updating our apps with all the latest developments and plus all the examinations, whatever we are going to do, that means will be available to our app this week. Right. Okay. So, thanks a lot everybody. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Or you have any suggestions, if you have any means, uh, opinion you would like to share with me, so that we can improve. Yes, any question? If you don't ask me a question, then I'll ask. Oh. <laughs> yes, we have. Uh, by um, downloading all those uh, apps, uh, is it, does it mean that we automatically be the uh, member of an MIPMN? 